Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the morning con call. We start with technical and derivatives outlook. So, in yesterday's session, we saw that another, uh, uh, like Nifty has again slipped uh, 109 points. The Nifty is almost close at 19,528 levels. So, mainly, we are seeing that there is a distribution in the Nifty, and Nifty is coming down. So, it 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 is facing a huge resistance close to 19,600, 19,800. It's not easily able to take those levels on the higher side. So if, uh, overall, we always believe that Nifty is in a range of 19,200 to 19,800. So anytime there is a correction, so there's a probability that Nifty may slip uh, uh, slightly on the downside. On an immediate basis, 19,400, 19,450 can be the support for the day. But then gradually, the overall, uh, the range for the Nifty is 19,200 and 19,800. So we are quite open to this. So the entire view will change only when we see a very strong closing above 19,800 level. So right now, uh, I'm expecting a range bound view for the Nifty. Uh, slightly cautious, uh, uh, Nifty may come close to 19,400, 19,300 during the week. So uh, that's a technical view for the Nifty. But having said this, uh, there are very, you know, many individual stocks which are looking positive, PSU banks, even in yesterday market, when the market was correcting, the bank Nifty was down by 185 points. PSU Bank is at the verge of giving a fresh breakouts. These stocks like SBI, Canara Bank, Union Bank are looking very extremely positive on charts. So I think this momentum will count, continue in this space. And uh, we should be having a, tra a trading as well as positional opportunities in this in the uh, this sector. Beside uh, no, PSU Bank, I think uh, LNT is one which is again looking very strong on charts. So we can keep a watch on that. Coming to Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty was down by 185 points. The close was 44,399. And if I look at the chart pattern, then again, the Bank Nifty is in a very tight range of uh, 44,000 and uh, 45,000. This is a thousand point tight range for the last seven, eight uh, trading session. Uh, and the lower demand for the uh, Bank Nifty is at 43,000, which is uh, now um, 43,100. Uh, this is the 200-day moving average level. So uh, Bank Nifty, uh, again, on the Bank Nifty has to take 45,000 on the higher set. So only when we see a very strong closing above 45,000, then the Bank Nifty will see some short covering of fresh buying. So the immediate range for the Bank Nifty is 44,000 and 45,000. And now coming to the derivatives report, so there was a short buildup in Nifty Futures to the tune at 7.71%. The put call ratio declined from 1.03 to 0.91. And the call writing was seen in 19,700. And the put writing was seen in 19,500. So this is the data for the Nifty Future. Uh, in case of Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty has seen a long unwinding to the tune of 1.96%. The put call ratio has also declined from 0.90 to 0.78. The call writing was seen as 45,000 and 44,700. So this is the resistance. Uh, the support from the put side is seen at 44,300 and 44,400. And lastly, the FI data. So again, when the market was uh, sideways, uh, uh, negative. So in this uh, NIFT, uh, FIs in the index features have gone short by another 20,000 contract. They are net short by 85,000 contract and the long short ratio is 24% as, uh, as of yesterday's closing. So this slightly cautious view on the index. So uh, stock specific approach should be kept is what we feel. So that's the technical view. I hand out to Bhavesh sir from World Research Approach. Thank you. Hi, good morning team. So starting with Jindal Steel and Power. Uh, so Jindal Steel and Power has commenced uh, Gare Palma 4-6 block, coal block. So, so coal, coal block helps them uh, lower their cost of uh, coal because uh, the mining cost is much lower compared to what they procure from outside. So this is positive and uh, the Jindal Steel and Power is on the verge of commissioning uh, ma a massive uh, increase in steel capacity from 3.6 to 9.6 million ton. So this will partially fulfill their coal requirements. Uh, although this is nothing new and it was expected and uh, in line with expectation, the 
cool block has come in. Secondly, on APL Apollo, so APL Apollo sales volume for quarter two FY24 was 0.7 million ton in line with what was targeted and what was expected. And overall, in the first half, it's grown by 30%. But uh, second half could be more crucial where uh, they are they are they are trying to ramp up their newly set up uh, riper plant and uh, most of these products are value added products so that will be very positive if they ramp up uh, successfully and given the apl's uh, track record they are likely to uh, do a commendable job even in even this uh, third on Jensen. So uh, one of the global senior uh, VP, uh, Samir Gosami, has resigned. Uh, so he was operating from US and has, re, uh, has had a rich experience. So this might be slightly, you know, negative in the near term. Uh, overall, broadly, it's not a very big deal. Third and fourth on PVR Inox. So PVR Inox is in discussion with ICC to screen all India match India matches uh, and semi and uh, final. Uh, of the World Cup uh, on their screens. So if they get, uh, it will be positive for PVR Inox. Then on Mahindra Finance, so Mahindra Finance has reported their disbursement numbers for Q2 FY24, which was around 13,300 crores, uh, representing a growth of 13%. So is it positive? Uh, the collection efficiency has improved by nearly uh, 1%. Uh, so that is also positive. Uh, and, and also even stage 2 NPA is estimated at 5.8%. Uh, and in June, it was 6.4%. So there is improvement in asset quality as well. Uh, then on Bajaj Finance, so Bajaj Finance uh, reported overall very good numbers in terms of AUM growth. So AUM again grew by nearly 33% to 2,90,000 2, crores. And uh, their customer franchise has increased to 76.5 million from uh, uh, 63 million in, uh, in September 2022. Uh, company liquidity position remains strong and overall uh, uh, very good set of numbers. Then on NCC, so NCC has backed an order of rupees uh, 4200 crores in the month of September. Uh, overall, taking its Q2 FY24 order uh, in flow at 8800 crores, so much better than what they had done in Q1 FY24. So this is positive and it is one of our top picks in infrastructure. Uh, then lemon tree so lemon tree has received occupancy certificates for for their mmrda uh, from mmrda for its hotel uh, near mumbai international airport so that is very positive and uh, we are overall positive on the stock so that's it from me uh, over to you the retail team yeah thank you and good morning everyone Continuing further up, they're starting with HDFC Bank. HDFC Bank is revamping its some of more parts of its stock management of the Indian bank uh, to propel its mortgage business. It has brought IT and digital function led by Mr. Ramesh Lakshminarayan and directly under uh, CEO Sashi Dhar Jagdishan. The bank is also lean on technology to offer more products and services across such branches. And Ashish Partha Sarthi, a bank veteran, will get the responsibility for the key retail branch business. Secondly, Bajaj Alliance for Bajaj Sunserv uh, gets a GST demand notice of 1010 crore on Tuesday. It has received a show cost come uh, demand notice from GST Intelligence Tree. And for the non payment of GST on co insurance and reinsurance premiums, said Bajaj Sunja in the exchange filing. And Bajaj Sunja says that they are going to file an appropriate response to the said show cost notice in the prescribed timelines. Third is ICICI Bank, private sector bank has uh, raised 4,000 crores via bonds to fund its business growth. The bank has allotted 4 lakh senior unsecured redeemable LTV tax bonds in the nature of convertible debentures, aggregating 4,000 crores on a private placement basis in October being, uh, oct uh, sorry, the allotment being on October 3, said in a regulatory filing, and it is a 10 year re redeemable bond. Next is Tethagar Railway Systems uh, has uh, aimed a pact of 857 crores with Gujarat Metro Rail Corporation. The contract is for manufacturing of 72 standard gauge gauge cars for the first phase of Surat Metro Rail project. The order value is approximately 857 crores. The execution project is slated to begin in 76 weeks after signing the contract and will complete in 32 weeks. For IDFC Bank, there are reported planning. It is going to raise about 3,000 crores via QIP. It's reported by CNBC TV 18. This this report suggests it is going to rail via QIP on October 3. And there has been no official announcement by the bank yet. So that's it from mine. And I'll hand over to Prabhakar sir for more updates. Good morning, team. Uh, so there are a few global news, which is very important for our market. So US bond uh, route deepens. So we need to understand the 30-year bond 
the yields are not stopping it is highest since 2007 so this indicates many things that you know federal uh, federal reserve has not completed its rate hike so and with a weak you uh, know strong economy and the high interest rate now things are going to be very difficult to manage and uh, now liquidity is also drying up as you uh, know reverse quantitative easing is happening so you now without money supply the yields will not you now calm down so i think it is a very difficult situation but you know whatever happens in us now very soon that impact will be felt in india there were uh, updates uh, you know quarterly updates from many companies in that you know bajaj finance update has been very growth after a very long time 30% growth in their aum has been witnessed so i think bajaj finance is something to watch out for now uh, avenue supermarket it was very mixed now their growth uh, in revenue year on year basis was 18.5% uh, i you know for the valuation which they trade they have to grow at 25% so it is a mixed thing we mart uh, no it is only 8% revenue up they have opened six stores so it is a weak uh, thing see uh, for the kind of valuation many stocks trade if they don't grow above 15 20% it is not sustainable so there is a possibility of correction even south india bank uh, the data is not too positive it is mostly negative so we need to be careful there also vedanta is one more negative even s bank came with the numbers uh, so their advances was up by 9.5% deposit has grown by 17.2% so deposit wise they have done very good but uh, advances is uh, still 9.5% <laughs> bank of maharashtra came with a very very strong numbers so their advances were higher by 23.5% at 183000 crores and their deposit was higher by 22.2% at 239000 crores csb you know their advances were higher so uh, advance was higher by 27% and uh, the deposit was uh, higher by 21% at 25000 but in csb the important point is their gold loan is almost 10000 crores which is 40% of their uh, loan book so that is something positive when it comes to csb lnt construction has said it has secured order Uh, in mumbai you know the range only they give so it is between 2500 to 5000 crore it is a large order is what they have mentioned the there is a bridge connecting daiser to binder uh, so it takes almost 45 minutes it is a 4.5 kilometer bridge you now which connects uh, daiser to binder so this order has been given to them so and uh, they will be completing in 24 Uh, 24 months is what uh, the saying uh, e n i l uh, it is entertainment uh, this thing uh, they own the brand called radio mirchi they have got a license to operate in bahrain for 5 years for indian content in fm radio lupin has launched uh, humare a patient support uh, program for diabetes management uh, but uh, very important is the data which they give Uh, no today we have 7.7 crore diabetes in india and it is going to double in the next uh, 15 years is what they are saying so we need to take care of health you now that is what i can understand from here uh, uh, tetagar rail system inks contract with uh, gujarat metro rail corporation for manufacturing of 72 units of standard catch caps uh, cars for first phase of surat metro rail lemon tree you know there is a positive news on lemon tree they have they have started their mumbai property uh, so i think lemon tree and shaile are two hotel stock in a correction we can buy so you now today i expect market to open week so if that kind of weakness is there then you know one has to buy this and hero motor will commence delivery of harley davidson uh, x440 on 15th october this month 
and their booking window which was closed after 25000 units of booking will again reopen on 16th october now which can be slightly negative for aishar motor we you know it is a very fast thing they have done uh, so income tax regulation no every company is filing regulatory thing so in that if you notice every company has uh, uh, as notices from income tax or gst so this is something everybody has to monitor what stock is coming there and what stock is going out uh, that is also very important senco gold has launched senis leather bag and accessories on uh, 2nd october so you know this is slightly positive but we like senco gold for their gold business valuation wise it looks very attractive so that is something to watch out for in the last news you know polyplex corp promoter group to sell stake in apg holding for 1188 crores but previously they expected higher amount but now the amount is bit lower so it should be slightly negative for, for polyflex with that over to you team oh yeah thank you sir and good morning everyone so start karte hain aaj ke hindi updates ke sath so uh, us ke 30 year bond yields ki agar baat kare to ye yields jo hai uh, yahan pe ruk nahi rahi hai kafi tezi se badh rahi hai uh, kafi long time se agar dekha jaye data to current yields jo hai highest hai uske comparison mein uh, high interest rates bhi hai market mein but at the same time liquidity kahin na kahin dry up ho rahi hai jo ek uh, bahut achhi news nahi hai and since uh, ye situation us mein chal rahi hai to sooner or later iska jo ek negative impact hai wo india mein bhi dekhne mil sakta hai बजाज फाइनेंस की अगर बात करें तो कंपनी ने अपने ए में जो है थर्टी परसेंट ग्रोथ दिखाई है जो एक काफी पॉजिटिव अपडेट है बजाज फाइनेंस के लिए एवेन्यू सुपरमार्ट की अगर बात करें तो 18.5 परसेंट ग्रोथ देखने मिली है इनके रेवेन्यू में जबकि वी मार्ट के रेवेन्यू की अगर बात करें तो 8 परसेंट की ग्रोथ यहाँ पे देखने मिली है ओवरऑल नंबर्स वी मार्ट के थोड़े से न्यूट्रल साइड पे रहेंगे साउथ इंडियन बैंक के नंबर्स की अगर बात करें तो डेटा थोड़ा से नेगेटिव निकल के आया है एंड सेम सिचुएशन है वेदांता की भी नंबर्स ओवरऑल काफी अच्छे नहीं दिख रहे येस बैंक ने जो है 17.4 परसेंट ग्रोथ दिखाई है अपने डिपॉजिट्स में जो एक रिलेटिवली पॉजिटिव अपडेट होगा इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिजल्ट्स ऑफ येस बैंक बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र के नंबर से अगर बात करें तो यहाँ पे नंबर्स काफी पॉजिटिव आते हुए दिखे हैं एडवांसेस की बात करें तो यहाँ पे 23.5 परसेंट की ग्रोथ दिखी है एडवांसेस में एट वन लैख एटी थ्री थाउजेंड क्रोस जबकि डिपॉजिट्स में भी 22.2 परसेंट की ग्रोथ देखने मिली है एल एन टी कंस्ट्रक्शन ने मुंबई में एक ऑर्डर सिक्योर किया है वर्थ रुपीज टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड टू फाइव थाउजेंड क्रोस ये जो रेंज है एंड ओवरऑल ऐसा एक्सपेक्टेशन है कि ये प्रोजेक्ट नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ्स में कम्प्लीट होगा ल्यूपिन की अगर बात करें तो कंपनी ने एक पेशेंट सपोर्ट प्रोग्राम लॉन्च किया है फॉर डायबिटीज डायबिटीज एज ए डिजीज की अगर बात करें तो ऐसा प्रेडिक्शन है कि नेक्स्ट 15 इयर्स में इंडिया में डायबिटीज जो है डबल होने के चांसेस है तो थोड़ा सा कॉशियस रहने की जरूरत है सभी को हीरो मोटोकॉप जो है वो अपने हार्ली डेविसन की डिलीवरी कमेंस करने वाला है फिफ्टीन अक्टूबर को जो एक थोड़ा सा नेगेटिव अपडेट रहेगा आईशर मोटर्स के लिए इसी के साथ कुछ और अपडेट्स की अगर बात करें तो जिंदल स्टील के रिगार्डिंग एक पॉजिटिव अपडेट है जहाँ पे कंपनी ने जो है अपना प्रोडक्शन सक्सेसफुली कमेंस किया है एट गेर पलमा आई वी सिक्स कोल माइन जो स्ट्रेटेजिकली पोजिशन है छत्तीसगढ़ में नेक्स्ट अपडेट जो है वो है पीवीआर आईनोक्स के ऊपर मीडिया सोर्सेज की अगर माने तो पीवीआर आईनोक्स जो है वो आईसीसी के साथ डिस्कशन कर रहा है टू स्क्रीन ऑल द इंडिया मैचेस इंक्लूडिंग सेमीफाइनल एंड फाइनल ये जो एक स्टेप है ये उनको काफी हेल्प करेगा स्पेशली uh, जब मूवीज ड्राई अप हो जाएगी वर्ल्ड कप के टाइम पे तो वहाँ पे मोनिटाइजेशन में पी को काफी हेल्प होगी पी वी एज ए कंपनी जो है यूजली टाई अप करती है विथ कॉरपोरेट्स ऐसे काइंड ऑफ स्क्रीनिंग के लिए एंड डेफिनेटली यहाँ पे पी के रेवेन्यूज बूस्ट होने के चांसेस है एनसीसी की अगर बात करें तो एनसीसी के रिगार्डिंग अगेन एक पॉजिटिव अपडेट है जहां पे कंपनी को नए ऑर्डर मिले हैं वर्थ रुपीज फोर्टी टू बिलियन इन द मंथ ऑफ सितंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री 
एंड दस कंपनी का जो क्वार्टर टू एफ का जो टोटल ऑर्डर इनफ्लो है वो है रुपीज एटी एट बिलियन का एंड इसको अगर कंपेयर करें पिछले साल पिछले क्वार्टर से तो जो है काफी अच्छी ग्रोथ यहाँ पे देखने मिली है ओवरऑल हमारा एनसीसी पे जो आउटलुक है वो पॉजिटिव है एंड हम अपना बाय रेटिंग मेंटेन कर रहे हैं विद टारगेट प्राइस ऑफ रुपीज वन इसी के साथ कुछ मार्केट अपडेट्स की अगर बात करें तो कल के सेशन में अगेन मार्केट में हमें एक गिरावट देखने मिली थी एक एक्सटेंडेड करेक्शन दोनों इंडेक्सेस में देखने मिला था निफ्टी एज ए इंडेक्स की अगर बात करें तो कहीं ना कहीं अभी भी जो है नाइनटीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड से नाइनटीन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड की रेंज में जो है इंडेक्स ट्रेड करता हुआ दिख रहा है और ये साइडवेज कंसोलिडेशन थोड़ा सा और कंटिन्यू होगा ऐसा एक्सपेक्टेशन है सिमिलरली अगर बैंक निफ्टी की बात करें तो बैंक निफ्टी भी एक वाइडर रेंज में ट्रेड कर रहा है राइट फ्रॉम फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड टू फोर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड लेवल कल के सेशन में हमने देखा था कि पी एस यू बैंक की जो एक बुलिस रैली थी वो कंटिन्यू हो रही थी एंड बैंक निफ्टी प्रेसाइजली अगर देखें तो फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड एक इंपॉर्टेंट लेवल रहेगा इंडेक्स के लिए अगर फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड के ऊपर एक ब्रेकआउट आता है तो वहां से एक शॉर्ट टर्म शॉर्ट कवरिंग जो है हमें देखने मिल सकती है Uh, कुछ स्टॉक्स जहाँ पे uh, आज इंट्राडे पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से नजर रखी जा सकती है वो है एम जी एल अरविंद पी सी बी एल एंड एच बी एल पावर एफ आई आई एस एंड डी आई एस डेटा की अगर बात करें तो कल के सेशन में एफ आई एस ने अगेन रुपीज टू थाउजेंड थर्टी फोर पॉइंट वन फोर क्रोज की सेलिंग की है जबकि डी आई एस ने वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी वन पॉइंट जीरो टू क्रोज की बाइंग की है फ्यूचर्स डेटा पे अगर नजर डाले तो कुछ स्टॉक्स जहाँ पे लॉन्ग बिल्डअप देखने मिला कल के सेशन में वो है एम जी एल मैरिको एंड पॉलीकैप जबकि कुछ ऐसे स्टॉक्स जहाँ पे शॉर्ट बिल्डअप देखने मिला वो है कोरोमंडल इंडिया सीमेंट्स एंड दालमिया भारत सो दिस वॉज ऑल फ्रॉम आर एंड थैंक यू फॉर अटेंडिंग द मॉर्निंग कॉन कॉल है गुड डे